Hi everyone. Uh, this is a video interview as a follow up to the LMD uh, article that will appear soon. Basically, I talk about uh, my sector which is the digital office automation uh, industry. And uh, one of the first questions that were that was asked was uh, how has the priorities in this sector uh, changed due to uh, the COVID-19? Well, the priorities changed overnight because the priorities of our customers changed. Uh, they stopped going to office, they stopped going to school, work from home started, study from home started and therefore our priorities from actually selling equipment to the customer changed overnight to maintaining the existing equipment that they have. Uh, we ensured that our service team is on call 24-7. We ensured that we have uh, online maintenance in effect so that we first prioritize on how we maintain the equipment and ensure all the equipment is in working condition instead of just going and pushing them new equipment. And also we overnight improved our uh, online presence and online doorstep delivery, uh, 24 hours response. So this is how we have uh, changed our priorities overnight. Some of the challenges that we face in this digital office automation sector is the myopia of customers that they evaluate everything basically purely on uh, rupees and cents. Now with this new uh, online wave that is going on even in the office automation sector you can find um, you know things like um, document workflow enhancement you have online approval systems you have online maintenance systems uh, software enhancements so many things that helps the customer uh, to basically work remotely but we still face this challenge where customers don't look at the bigger picture and the overall saving they will get in the short and medium term but instead just look at uh, the investment alone and that is a challenge that we are facing in terms of changing the customers mindset and of course um, another massive challenge that we've been facing not just purely because of the COVID uh, pandemic but it's been a problem for many years now is uh, certain western countries mainly in, from Europe uh, them dumping the used recon equipment into Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka becoming a, a waste ground for all these second-hand machines that come in and again customers opt to choose cheaper solution uh, by buying these second-hand machines the problem in that is that uh, most of these machines are one outdated two they don't have the safety standards which current brand new latest equipment have and therefore most of these have certain um, hazardous um, sort of fumes that may come out in using you know since the machines get old they are not the best uh, environmentally or health friendly equipment so this is a problem that uh, that we are facing over the years